comfy bees. Yay. And we're back, and my back hurts because human beings were not meant to sit on the couch this for more than This time on Dragon hours. Ball Z, we're fighting some spook monster. Whew. Oh, Colonel Sanders! He's gonna save us! Oh my gosh. With his chicken staff. <laughs> Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here! Oh my gosh. Did you put what? your body in the golden fire? Did you put your hand in the golden fire? <laughs> Did you put your hand in the ground of fire, Harry Potter? <laughs> yes. I, I, I never read the book, but I get the, but I get the joke there. Yep. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. That he is eaten and killed. That they are, oh, well, we did, we could kill them for him. Oh, yeah. This could be a later. business venture. We, the, we kill chickens. This is why we deserve to be his husband. Right. Because we are the chicken slayer. Exactly. So let me move this a little bit. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Because it, like, no. It's gonna be like in Legend of Zelda, a hundred, like a thousand chickens are gonna come and like run over him. Whew. Oh, damn! <laughs> Pots, pie, power punch! That's amazing. Popeye power punch does 10 damage! Spark monster is defeated! <laughs> oh, you it. saved me! Oh my gosh. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. Oh, I guess we'll spare him. You managed to tamp down your disgust at the sight of this gnarly beast long enough to realize that he is still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Be gone, be gone, beast. And don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, <laughs> I won't forget this. And I certainly won't be back. Like you said. <laughs> well, what if he really does never show up again? I know. It'd be kind of funny if he did show up again. The, mo the spork monster scuttles off into the night. The defeated monster left behind a special item. Oh, man. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a <gasps> book. It's the chicken Nomicron. <laughs> it's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Oh, we forgot to set the timer. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got caught up. Caught up. Got me feeling it. Whew. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed out is Borco. Hmm. Like Boruto. Borco. Hmm. That sounds like a strange. That sounds strange. That name sounds strangely familiar. Hmm. Old flame, perhaps. No, I'm kidding. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hand. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Oh, no. Is it, it, We're it, gonna die. No, maybe the... Maybe the oh, and, uh, Wait, we're uh, going on to the next dimension. <laughs> maybe the gilf is gonna, like, carry us away into the night. Maybe. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. Oh, I knew it! He literally took us to our room. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. Aw. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. Good night, my Colonel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, in your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. <laughs> yeah, they are. Zzz. Whoa! <laughs> Wonderful transition! <laughs> you awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? Dun dun dun! Maybe both. You lie in bed and stare at the ceiling, thinking about the secret you discovered while tasting Colonel Sanders' cooking yesterday. You can't believe he really used blank. And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Oh. 
Yeah, that's it. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> you meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Sorry, I... <laughs> Sorry we dogged you out like twice yesterday. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the Spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be... In love? Um, okay, you better not be in love with Colonel Sanders. I think I might like Clank. Yep. Oh okay, God. Would, is it, is that's she, better, actually. Would she have fallen in love with Pop if we had chosen him? Oh, I hope not. Oh, you man. better have better standards than that being our best friend, girl. <laughs> this is fun. Girl, this is a robot. <laughs> but hey, whatever floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> have you like have you seen like the Japanese versions of Transformers? It's pretty weird. Mm. Like there's a comic called Transformers Legends. Mm -hmm. It or Generation. No, I think it's Legends. Yeah. Let me just put a picture on the screen. It's weird. I'm you sure. To see, I don't know what picture I'm putting on screen right now, but... It's it's, it's a picture and you're going to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably of RC in an apron. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now we got off track again. Uh, like him? Like, like, like? Oh, gosh. Probably. I know it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. His har I only like him for his hardware. Oh, gosh. Well, you do, you girl. We, we got to talking <laughs> after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Okay, you're going to have to dish it. Like spill, the, like, spill that tea. Like, spill the beans. Come on. <laughs> do you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? Mm. I would never have guessed that. No, but that makes complete... That, But that does make complete sense. It does. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to and was also the convertible that he himself rode in the front of the homecoming parade. What? He Wait, was is he a, a Transformer? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I th I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cook in pressure cooker language translation. <laughs> I think so too, cause that made no sense. <laughs> Either way, maybe it'd be best if you slow down with this new boy. Like I am, Cur like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. You're a thing now. You don't look impressed. You need to change your attitude. Yeah, if, if, like I'm gonna be. You better. <laughs> you better come back at me with some like some encouragement. Yeah, like if you if you wanna, because we're going places. If, if you wanna go that go there with us, you better get on our good side. Right. Right. Chop chop. Right. <laughs> get it together. <laughs> also, what what I wouldn't give for this to be like a short OVA. Oh yeah, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, we're, we're kind of getting that except you know it's like we're voicing all the people uh should i put this in my portfolio these voices mm, hey you bang, could bang, probably bang, yeah bang. oh my gosh <laughs> okay we definitely connected yesterday yeah you better recognize <laughs> sure you did you're great why wouldn't it be, why wouldn't he be into you i guess are you jelly you're just Girl, trying to, you're just trying that to was not what i needed from you right now <laughs> <laughs> i need so Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. I thought we You've was... killed millions of chickens. Yes. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Show him your internet history. Show the Create a blood pact. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's not into me, why did he tell... Wait, why did he tell me one of his... Secret ingredients hmm. for Krabby Patties. However, you don't tell her that you know a second ingredient too, which you discovered on your own. Your bestie's eyes light up. She's cute. She is, but she better get get with the program. <laughs> a secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that a special ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in there? We go. Um, we might lose her friendship. Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> so, this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. Okay, is this pertinent? <laughs> let's, let's get it back. This can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices. 
secret spices. Okay. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals. And that if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. You just got to take him into a back alley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Please, God. Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. Wait, what's she saying? I don't know. Drugs. Cocaine. <laughs> He was so nice, he even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me, and the flavor was like unlike anything I'd ever tasted. So she put crack in the food. <laughs> I think you're being very little with the meaning spices here. Like I said. <laughs> Whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch. You know, like pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. I think this girl's sassing us. Girl, I, you know, I'm... I was about you like five minutes ago, but now I don't know. Is she not going to be a friend anymore? That's I don't thing. know. <sighs> I, I I feel like we might be going in that direction. Oh, no. I know. It doesn't feel good. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt I'd be of much use to anyone. Please, please, please. It would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. Girl... Seriously, we can't do that. <laughs> Make up a fake ingredient. Oh, what do you think? Should oh, you protect Colonel Sanders' secret or share it with your bestie? We are, we cannot betray Colonel Sanders' trust. We gonna have to lie. We're gonna have oh, to lie. She's, is she gonna We're becoming a horrible person. Oh God, is she? She's gonna like make something We're horrible. We're both horrible people at this point. I think she's gonna like make something awful and then she's gonna blame us for it. Yeah, you quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How about? Oh man! It was. Are we eye. a witch? <laughs> like what? It was the eye of Newt. You know, something like kind of witch poison. But what can you do? Yeah. <laughs> what, what you became I... Dracula from Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> oh man! Uh, <laughs> eye of Newt. Wow. <laughs> don't bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, she, you took that hook, line, and sinker. Either we're like a pathological liar or she just kind of is. Oh. It could be both, maybe. Her eyes light up imagining such a thing and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. But she might not. We might have to lie. Oh, she might actually try it. We might have to lie more. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. Van Van. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. It's probably Colonel and, Sanders. And then Van Van. No, you're wrong! Oh Colonel Sanders! He's arriving on school on a horse. Is he going to kill the horse too? And oh, eat it? no. He only kills chicken. Ah. It's... Uh... <laughs> Oh my gosh, stand back and invite his majestic glory or run to him. Run to him. Uh, we must prove our love. Let's run, I guess. You decide that the best way to show Miriam how serious you and Colonel Sanders are would be to run to him. Yes, thank you. Surely he'll sweep you up into the back of his stallion and you'll ride away together. That'll show her good. Oh, Colonel! My Colonel! Oh, Captain, oh, my no. Captain. However, your sudden movement surprised the horse and it rears up, kicking you directly in the face. We have died. Oh, and and the, the horse is like, he's my man. <laughs> We're going to die, I guess. The force of the blow completely knocks you out cold. Oh, no. We made I, the I, wrong choice. I think we did oh, make fuck. the wrong choice. <laughs> Maybe we did make the wrong choice. Oh, man. In the darkness, you see a vision. Oh, we, we, we came on too fast, too yeah, strong. We came on too strong. Oh. Completely. Ooh, chicken slayer. I am here to deliver you a message. Get the fuck out of here. Can you please not? Not <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I hate him. Not as much as Pop, but I still hate him. It is important that you remember this exactly as I say it. If you forget, the world could end. So you know it's serious. I have been trapped in a realm beyond, but a great, but a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times in the mirror, <laughs> and that name is. Why? But before you can continue, you suddenly awake. Ah, jeez. 
<laughs> you awake to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. Well, why is Miriam in front of us? I don't know. He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices. Or is it that just his natural seasoned musk? <laughs> musk? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows anymore? Compliment the craftsmanship of his horse's shoes. <laughs> let's, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like we came on too strong before. Okay, yeah. Maybe he shouldn't be riding a horse to school, and maybe you shouldn't be running up to animals you don't know. It's hard to say who was in the wrong here. <laughs> Either way, we, we might have died. Our skull has been effectively crushed. Oh uh, my gosh. But one thing is for sure, that Colonel Sanders is pretty dreamy. He's ours. That horse has beautiful shoes. We almost died. I can really feel the smooth and st how uh, sturdy they were when they <laughs> were pressed into my face. Oh my gosh, what even is going on? Oh, he liked that. He liked the fact that we didn't try to sue him. That's nice to hear. That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. Oh my gosh. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you bleeding on the ground <laughs> and Miriam to follow. <laughs> When you enter the classroom, you can see your two rivals, Ash Karg and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. All right, let's continue this next time. Is that, <laughs> wait, is that Nicolas Cage? No. I don't Not think the bees! So. Ah! <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>